Shalom. Today I am going to explain about Ketharites. Let us see the scripture. Song of Songs, 1st chapter, 5th verse. I am dark, tan, but beautiful. You daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedar, like the curtains of Shlomo, means, Lord, means Solomon. Like the tents of Kedar. Here, Shulmite compared herself like the tents of Kedar because Tents of Kedar was beautiful inside, not outside. Kedar means black in Hebrew language, powerful and strong in Arabic language. These people were lived in Jordan, Sinai Peninsula, Negev Desert and South Palestina. This is their native place. Their language is Aramic. They speak Aramic language, ancient language. Ketharites were nomadic, ancient Arabic tribal sect. They lived in Syrian desert. They lived in the tents. The tent is very black at outside look, but the tent was very beautiful inside. They decorated the tent. Palm leaves, pebbles, shells and wild flowers. It is very cool inside of the tent. Extremely high temperature is there in Arabic desert. So. They lived in the desert area. They are the keepers of the sheep. So, they made tents. They led tent life. Shulmite said, My soul is beautiful. My heart is beautiful. I am black outside. God loves inner beauty, not external beauty. Let us see about Kedar from the Bible. Genesis 25th chapter, 13th verse. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, listed in the order of their birth. The first one of Ishmael was Nevayoth, followed by Kedar. Kedar was son of Ishmael. Ishmael was son of Abram. Kedar was very famous in the biblical history among all Ishmaelites. A famous prophet also was born in this Kedarites clan. Isaiah 60 chapter 2nd verse. All the flocks of Kedar will be gathered for you. The realms of Nevayoth will be at your services. They will come up and be received on my altar as I glorify my glorious house. So, Kedar people were keepers of the sheep. They have flocks. God accepted the sheep on the altar. God rejected the offering of Cain on the altar. But God accepted the Kedarites offering on the altar. This is miracle because these people were Worshippers of Adonai at that time, they truly worshipped God because Abraham worshipped Jehovah, Ishmael worshipped Jehovah, Ishmael's son Kedar were also worshipped Lord Jehovah. They brought good rams, they brought strong goats, they brought healthy sheep for the service of God, they brought fat rams for God, so God accepted their offering on the altar. So, very precious, very beautiful, very fatty animals. They brought it for the sacrifice on the altar for the living God. So, these are these people, Kedarites people have flocks at that time. They have no cows, no buffaloes, no other animals. Only they are rearing the lambs, the goats and the rams only. A scale 27 chapter 21. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your customers. For your goods, they traded lambs, rams and goats. Yes, Arabia and all the princes of Kedar, all Ishmaelites are Arabians. Kedarites are very famous among these Ishmaelites. So, they mentioned Arabia and Kedar. They are customers of Tyre country. Tyre was very famous place for business. So, they exchanged their goods. They traded their lambs, rams and goats for food items, for wheat vegetables and fishes and other things whatever they need so there is a trade arabia people are traders they are business people they trade with other countries so tyre was very famous at that time isaiah 42 11 let the desert and its cities raise their voices the villages where kedar lives let those living in sela shout for joy let them cry out from the mountain tops so here i say prophet also clearly Explaining us, Kedar people were lived in the villages and they have cities in the desert areas. Arabia was a desert. So, they are Arabians. They stayed in Arabia. They lived in Arabia. Arabia is Kedarites' native place. 
so in the desert they have cities they have villages so kedarites lived in villages and also in cities in the desert area so they raised their voices means they are worshipping god they are praising god they are singing about the miracles of god shout for joy means they are joyful in the presence of god they worshiped from the mountain tops also mountain tops means here sand area this is a, a sandy mountain areas most of the places are sandy mountain areas these people worshiped adonai at that time they praised god they worshiped god they loved god later they became idolaters jeremiah second chapter 10 11 verses crossed the coasts of kitim and look sent to kedar and observe closely see if anything like this has happened before has the nation ever exchanged its gods and there is are not gods at all yet my people have exchanged their glory for something without value here god question is a lights kedarites changed their living god and they began to worship idols they became pagan worshipers what happened at that time they stand on it they began to worship the idols hundreds of years in their lifetime gradually they became idolaters but they never change their deities worship they never change their gods but they never change their idolation but israelites had changed their worship they left living god they became idolaters they have forgotten the true god adonai why did it happen what's the reason why did my people forgotten me kedarites never forget their deities but these israelites have forgotten me god question why please go and send people to inquire about their deity worship they are very strong in idolation but but my people israelites were not strong they are always changing me they are always changing gods they turn their face onto the idolation why it is happened it means kedarites were worshipers of adonai in ancient time after that they became idolaters in india there is a famous place with this name kedarites name kedarnath kedar there is a village in tamil nadu kedar and in uttarakhand in himalaya area there is a kedarnath place very historical and important place in that uh, area kedar and kedarnath very important religiously very important places in ancient days many people migrate to india many people migrate to north india from many countries many races came and settled in india india is an ancient country it has an ancient heritage also kedar means black they lived in black tents so god is question you why don't you believe me why don't you trust me why don't you follow me kedarites are following their deities but i am real god i am true god but you are not following me god is question so this is the history of kedarites ishmaelites people thank you god bless you